listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update for today. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. <clears throat> First up today, violent storms kill 13 and leave millions without power in the United States of America. According to the Associated Press, millions across the Mid-Atlantic region sweltered in the aftermath of violent storms that pummeled the eastern U.S. with high winds and downed trees killing at least 13 people and leaving 3 million people without power during a triple digit heat wave. Power officials said the outages wouldn't be repaired for several days to a week, likening the damage to a serious hurricane. Emergencies were declared in four states and the District of Columbia as more storms threatened to strike. Second today, Saudi Arabia mobilizes military as country is on high alert. According to Depkafal, military sources report heavy Saudi troop movements toward the Jordanian and Iraqi borders after King Abdullah put the Saudi military on high alert on June 29th for possibly joining an anti-Assad offensive in Syria. The Saudi units are poised with tanks, missiles, special forces, and anti-air batteries. King Abdullah issued the order in a top secret letter addressed to the kingdom's security and intelligence chiefs as well as the ministers of defense and interior. The decree called for preparation against foreign or terrorist attacks and warned the Saudi security forces against any negligence in following the order. Third today, financier George Soros says EU has three months to avoid collapse. According to the Los Angeles Times, in a recent speech that was largely overlooked by mainstream media, George Soros said that the European Union was based on a fundamentally flawed but immensely attractive ideal and without extraordinary policy measures. The Eurozone only has three months to avoid implosion. Soros went on to say that Germany will likely do everything in its power to preserve the Euro and that the concessions of other countries will likely create a German Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy related news at www.secondcomingherald.com In closing, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24:42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew 24:44 says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready, Please understand that you need to get ready. How? By understanding that you are a sinner just as I am and that you have broken God's laws just as I have. 
The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. <clears throat> Please understand that because of your sins you deserve punishment in hell. Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. But here is the good news. That is the bad news. Here is the good news. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, Please pray with me this simple prayer right now. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. I have broken your laws. I am sorry for my sins. Please help me to repent of my sins and not to do them again. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart the best way that I know how that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again on the third day. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. May God bless you today. Don't